Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So, TNT, on the last episode, we were talking about predatory subscription services. This kind of ties into this. I saw an article um, that it went viral that a woman in, I don't know where this is. We'll say it's Florida because it's probably Florida. Fair enough. She bought, She posted on Facebook that she bought a 1998 Ford Escort. So, she was yeah. proud of it. Yeah, 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 Monthly yeah, yeah, payment, yeah. $289 a month Jeez. for 84 months. $24,000. Is that what it worked out to be? I did the math. I saw Dude, it. I saw this. that car is worth Two grand at best. It's twenty four and some change. Yeah. What's the KBB on that, dude? Like a Kelly Blue Book, the, like like two thousand dollars. We are not gonna start putting initials to the Kelly Blue Book. KBB dot org or something, dude. I okay, okay. Let me know. let me ask you this, okay? Like I'm not I'm not for predatory things like CarMax, and we even had friends that CarMax. They, they uh is Jaded CarMax by predatory? Yeah, kind of, yeah. CarMax is one of those pred- – I think they're – it's like JD By Rider, I think. Okay. Well, we had two people. We were both friends with them, Z and T. They both had the same mother effing car, mm-hmm. white Saturns, and they got them both – they both got them from JD By Rider, I think. And they paid stupid amounts of money for those cars mm-hmm. because they had shit credit, right? Like, that, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing. That's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Is that on the mm-hmm. predatory – business or is that on the idi- idiocracy of the person who's willing no, to pay that dude, much money? whenever you start pr- preying on the uneducated or the like the elderly or something um that that's predatory and that stuff has to be stopped honestly or like you know like people they, what, like payday loans yeah what they call it in the tech world they call it like dark trends um where it's like a person could accidentally make a purchase or like a child could grab your tablet and accidentally click a button and make a purchase. I feel like yeah, this like is- with Google Play and Amazon and stuff, they have those kind of facets. You can be yeah. like, I need to return this. Child bought it or yeah. something like that. I, I like feel a- like this is like the the IRL, you know, touching grass version of making a bad purchase. <laughs> like, wait a minute, this is this Dude. like like you got to take that car back. You got to take like, that car back. How- I saw the car. Well, but like, how do you even think? Like, how do you fathom in your wildest dreams that you're getting a deal in any sort of way? Like, you're so proud you posted on Facebook. Un- uneducated, man. Uneducated, uh, uh, sheltered lifestyle, uh, d- stupid. <laughs> but stupid does not mean, like, they. the saying is, is that an idiot and his money are uh, easily separated. I believe something like that. Some, yeah, it's yeah, something yeah. around those yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah. Either way, that sounds like a George Bushism. But yeah, that, <laughs> hey, but fool me once, shame on me. You can't get fooled again. Sounds like one of those sort of things. Does. Or like like a Biden just like going off at an idiot and his money are soon. Yeah, popcorn, <laughs> poppycock, my, my man Peacock. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> Cock. but yeah, I don't. It's, it, you cannot prey on the. Stupid. You can't prey on the stupid, right? It's like it's punching down it's to a so point. It's so easy to prey on the stupid, though. I mean, that's what the world is built on. It kind of is, kind of. But there's a certain degree of intelligence that you're allowed to prey on. Like, yeah, like our they, level of stupid. Like, like if their t- IQ was below, like, yeah, like where they were like considered mentally challenged, or mm-hmm. what's the uh, intellectually disabled. <laughs> If if they were if they were but if they were, if their IQ was that low then they're then that's a crime. Okay, so we're getting to a point now. So if a person has a mental disability, we all agree is that to trick that person out of their money is wrong. Thousand percent. Okay. Like that'd be like if a guy with Down syndrome comes in and you're like, "Hey, buddy, five hundred dollars a month," and he's like, "Sure thing." Okay, like, that's now, wrong. Now I understand that money and intelligence do not necessarily um, mean are not synonymous with each other. No, absolutely but if somebody not. were to, I don't know, trick Elon Musk out of ten thousand dollars, what do you think the reaction would be? We good. We'd giggle. People would be like, "Good for you." We'd giggle to ourselves and move on. But with he our also day. has he's he's autistic, right? I, uh, who, who cares? But that I mean that's a mental disability. It is a mental disability. I mean, but the man is also smart and has a, has the most money in the world out of yeah, anybody. Autism does not mean stupidity. Autism just means that you're kind of geared to 
a certain uh like uh idea. right uh, just because you have autism doesn't mean your iq is low it can exactly. mean that because i i mean i have family that there's an autistic person in my family who is there i mean they're basic they can't do anything for themselves right mm -hmm. so you can be mentally disabled with autism but you also could be like a savant yeah that's very true yeah so, so my, my point is is that so we've decided that what level is everybody agrees is totally unacceptable to, to pre predatory to. We've also established where, you know, if you got enough money and you know, you, you, you tout yourself as a smart individual, then you, fine. Take, take his money. Who cares? If it happened to me, what would be the, what would be the response? I feel like you're intelligent enough that you wouldn't let it happen though. Okay. But if it did, it would automatically be well, like, here, I'm going to go get my money back. Well, well, and here's the thing. Here's the baseline, right? At what point is it your fault? And is at what point is it their fault? Once you sign a contract. Because here's the thing. Like, I think, you know, if I, I don't want to toot our own horns here. I would say both of us are probably a little, at least a little bit above average intelligence, right? We're both pretty, <laughs> we're both. We're I'm both, not falling into your Dunning-Kruger bullshit. I mean, come on, let me Kruger you, dude. Freddy, no, let's I'm just, not. let's I just, refuse. Elm, come on, ride on Elm Street with me. I refuse to fall into your Dunning-Kruger bullshit. You think you're average intelligence? I think I am average intelligence, Okay. Yes. All right, so as an average intelligence person. Yes. Can I trick you into paying my rent next month? Probably not. Then that means you're not average. Because I don't an think average that intelligent is, I don't person. Think that I, the I think test. that is the guideline, <laughs> bro. I think that is the guideline. If you were able, if you, like, here's the thing if you do it because you have to, you should still know better sometimes. I don't think that the average intelligence person is the benchmark for whether or not they could be tricked into something. I think that, honestly, Okay, so there's a difference between like average intelligence and the lowest common denominator. If you You're, remember, I agree with that. I feel like there's a lowest common denominator. There's a group of people out there that are who are paying twenty four thousand for twenty six. They're not average intelligence, but they're not intellectually disabled. Exactly. Right. 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 There's a, it's that it's, it's that quote unquote sweet spot. And that, and that is the spot that a lot of these predatory companies go for. This is why I was trying to establish a spectrum because we are somewhere in the middle. Elon Musk would be considered somewhere at the top because whether it be, you know, the fact that he is autistic and he was so focused on making money, regardless of what it is, he is successful. We are mildly successful. Right, right. The, best, and yeah. those people who are mentally disabled, you can't take them. But that sweet spot of just it's stupid like, it's like, like I don't even know what I don't even know what the <laughs> what the ID cutoff is. Like say it's seventy, right? Sure. That that would be like the seventy fives. Yeah. Like you're like, yeah, you aren't disabled, but you ain't very bright. Exactly. Thank you. These are filled with a lot of the uh, a lot of people who didn't pay attention in high school, uh, people who decided not to go to college or got hooked up with drugs, had kids young, uh, cheerleaders, pretty girls. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, all pretty girls. Wow. All of, all, all of them. All of them. All wow. Of them. Okay. All right. <laughs> Why don't we get that red pill bag out? <laughs> hey, why don't you pull? Why don't you pull all those hey, pills out your pocket? Hey, hey, yo, Jonas. Guess what? Pretty guys too. Guess what? Pretty guys. All of them. I can throw a football over that mountain. <laughs> I bet you I can throw a football over that mountain. Yeah, but no, dude, it's very wrong. Like it's very it, wrong. It really is, and man. like that's why there are laws to protect that that sweet spot. It's like okay, there's not gotta, laws to protect the sweet spot. There's plenty. There's of laws. laws to protect the intellectually disabled, but like it. Here's there's the lemon. Thing. There's lemon laws. There's lemon laws. Yeah, but the problem is the car runs. There's not a lemon law. What do you mean the car runs is not a the lemon, lemon law? law well, what the lemon law does is if you get a car and it breaks down within a certain amount of time, like you bought a car that was junk. Yeah, I mean, but if well, she that's... buys this car and it runs and she's paying three hundred dollars a month for seven years, Bruh, that's she... more than I pay for my. <laughs> right, dude, I bought a I bought a brand new car in twenty thirteen and didn't pay twenty four thousand dollars for it. Nah. Like I don't know, man. Anyways, like it, it's just it just shows that. There is a range of people out there that are not very bright. And, it, and they're protected to some extent. Like, I can't see her having to pay that. Like, the backlash she got on, on uh, social media, she will be taking that car back. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, go to thecrazytown.com. That's where the YouTube is. Subscribe. Uh, all that stuff for Jonas. Oh, yeah.